Hello, Brent of All and Octane here, and in this video, I'm going to open up some of the Hot Wheels car culture slide street cars that I was able to find on the pegs. I was able to find all five at the same time, which was awesome. They are Formula Drift cars. You can see they have the FD, so Formula Drift. The Nissan Silvia S14 has Formula Drift all over it. I believe we've kind of seen the, the Silvia in the Premium Car Culture Boulevard set before, but now we've got it in a set called Slide Street. It's part of the car culture, and you can see all five cars you're trying to hunt down on the back as you find each one of them. We've got a Silvia, we've got a Toyota Supra, we've got a AE86, AE86 we've got a Subaru BRZ with a Pandem kit, and we've got a 20 Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5. So these things are pretty legit. I was excited again to find all five of these, so let's go ahead and open them up. First up, we've got car number one. Nissan Silvia S14. And Formula Drift's popularity is incredible here in the United States. It keeps growing and growing, largely to do with the fact that it's kind of cheap to do, and a lot of people can do it. I know a lot of sports stadiums or event complexes or even malls will open up their parking lots to host drift competitions on weekends. So as long as you have basically anything with rear wheel drive and some high horsepower, or you make it high horsepower, just about anybody can kind of do it. I will say this car feels, the fit and finish feels a little rough. I don't know how really to describe it. It almost feels like that is, it's not really almost a tampo. It feels like it's actually part of the car. I know it's not, but it's a unique feeling vehicle. It's slightly different from just being tampoed on there. There is some texture to it. I'm trying to see if I can get it on camera with the gloss or the... There we go. You can kind of see how there's some texture to it. It's kind of unique. Something a little different. This is probably one of the best Sylvia's they've done as far as tampoing goes. It looks pretty legit. There we go. So there is the Silvia. Next up, we have the 20 Toyota Supra GR Supra. And I believe this one has the Pandem kit on it, or it has a kit on it. It might be the GR kit. I actually don't know. I could be wrong. So you guys can let me know because you guys are fantastic. Although I probably stand corrected by just looking at the spoiler. It's a Pandem kit. And... So this is the one with the kit. Spoiler, I will be opening these when I find all five. I haven't found all five. But here is the Supra without the Pandem kit. So you'll be seeing that in an upcoming video once I find the other two cars that I'm missing at the moment. But you can kind of see there are some comparing and contrasting, which is kind of cool. But let's take a look at this one. And that's not too bad. More of a finish that we're kind of used to the gloss finish. There's no texturing to this car. But then again, most drift cars get beat up. So I guess that's kind of something you can go, come to expect from a drift car. Kind of hard to tell. But this one's nice. That's awesome. Let's go to the Toyota A86 Sprinter Torino. I have still yet to finish Initial D. I got about, uh, I think I got into this. No, I don't think I finished the first season. I got like 14 or 15 episodes in. I just gotta slowly make my way through it. Small wheels on this one. This is probably one of the most iconic quote unquote drift cars. Mostly because of that show. This has the TRD livery all over it, which is really kind of cool. The TRD colors as well. Bilstein shocks, Valvoline and Toyota Racing Development. That is some good stuff. This is a pretty, pretty legit car. And the tampoing on this thing is fantastic. So the question is, now that we've seen the tampoing on this, and we have a lot of, we have the RX-7, we have, well, we have the yellow RX-7, we have the white mainline RX-7, and we have the Torino. Do you think they will do an initial D set? <laughs> that would be, that would be really cool. All right, so we have Pandem Subaru BRZ. 
And I'm guessing they're doing all Pandem because they have the license to do Pandem right now. So we have the Pandem on the Lamborghini Huracan. We have the Pandem on the Subaru. Subaru. And we have Pandem on the Supra. So that's probably where they're getting it from. If they have the kit, or if they have the license, they might as well do it. And do you like the kits on the cars? Would you prefer them without the kit? Let me know in the comments. This thing is pretty legit. Falcon livery. Highly memorable. Highly iconic. Subaru. So obviously it's not the Scion FRS or the Toyota 86. It's the BRZ. Man, they did really well at the Tampos on this thing. This is next level, I feel like. It, I mean, it's just kind of like the run-of-the-mill cars, but goodness gracious, the liveries on these things and the Tampos are superb. The, the black makes it a little hard to notice the kit in the back, but the front, you can definitely tell on the front wheel wells there. That's some good stuff. All right, last up, let's go ahead and go to the 20 Ford Mustang RTR Spec 5. Is this... Is this a Von Gittin Jr. vehicle? Yeah. I believe that is. I could be wrong. I'm pretty sure it is. All of these cars came with the little inserts, too. It's kind of unique. Seems like a, a waste, but you know what? I'm not going to complain because the tampoing on these is spectacular. So we kind of have that iconic Von Gittin green. I know that's not, that's not the color, but... That uh, tends to go along with that team and kind of like the Hoonigan type stuff. So we've got Fun Haver. That's kind of cool. There's the rear of the Mustang. Let's see if we can get that to focus. I apologize. Nitto, Ford Racing, or Ford Performance. That is spectacular. This whole set was quite surprising. I won't lie. That is, it is a unique set. It's kind of different, but it has some good tampoed cars. Uh, paint jobs aren't, again, like the most spectacular. There is some texture to them, but I won't complain because the tampoing is fantastic. The cars are great. And it's kind of like a step in a fun direction. So let me know which ones are your favorites in the comments below. And until the next one, have a good one.